Hi, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. <laughs> okay, today we are reviewing a film called 12 Years a Slave, directed by the brilliant Steve McQueen. And I have to say, this film is a freaking masterpiece. It's brutal, it's intense, it's inspiring. At times it's hard to watch, and I am going to get the name right. Do you think I'm going to get his name right? Maybe. Okay, it stars this fantastic Nigerian actor called Chuaitel Ejio. Who should I tell? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ejio. <laughs> He's so good. I'm sorry. He has like this hard to pronounce name. He plays Solomon. Do you know what happens to him in, 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 when he was a kid in school? What? The teacher said, it's, how should I know his turn? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, this is a serious piece of art. Uh, the um, uh, the uh, He plays Solomon Northrup. Solomon Northrup, he actually wrote the book, uh, was a free black man living in Saratoga, New York, with a wife and kids eight years before the Civil War. He's duped, taken to Washington, D.C., kidnapped, shackled, and... Sold into slavery. Exactly, and... You know who's really good? Paul Giamatti Paul plays... Giamatti's good in everything. Oh, my God. I think Is it Giamatto or Giamatti? Giamatti. He Giamatti. plays this, like, super evil uh, slave trader. And, oh, this film is, is a testament to the human spirit because no matter how many atrocities is, you know, cast upon this guy and all the other slaves, he never, never loses hope and he never loses his human dignity. And... One of the standouts in the film is Michael Fassbender. I don't know if there's any other actor that can do evil. He plays the slave owner to this Hi. day. <laughs> Stop groaning. <laughs> to this day, his last name was Epps, and he's notorious in the South because it's like if somebody does something bad, they, they, they actually say something like, you just did an Epps or something. Oh, my God. He is so twisted evil. Okay, I, I'm I'm through talking, John. Go ahead. Where was I? <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, I was I was thinking after I saw the film, which was it was so powerful and so incredibly moving, violent in, in its depiction of of humanity. That uh, I thought to myself, you know, what makes it even more powerful is that you're sitting in a theater where where pe your people's size are blown up. Well, Thirty yeah. times their normal height, height and weight. So take that. <laughs> I don't even. It's like so no. blown up. I mean, what if they look like they're fat? <laughs> well, you put it like this. If you weigh a lot before you get on the screen, forget about it. And the camera only adds twelve. 12 uh, pounds to you. Well, what you're trying to say is seeing it on the big screen really... It, well, I mean, because, of course, you and I have never seen anything like that in real life. True? True. Yeah, but you loved it. I did. I found it to be incredibly sad and, and at the same time incredibly hopeful because what makes humanity so interesting is that on the, on the bad side is that we're the only animal on Earth that kills for, for pleasure. And tortures for pleasure. And on the other side, as, uh, as dribble comes down my <laughs> lip, but the other thing is that it also can inspire people to, to be greater, to, to seize the moment and know how valuable that moment really is. Yes, that's very profound, honey. I yes, I mean, it, it makes you think. You know, whenever I see a film about um, slavery, the Holocaust, genocide, it, it just blows my mind. I mean, how... How could we as humans do this stuff to other people? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. And what really amazes me is how how these people can survive. How people could survive. I mean, how this man Solomon Northrop did you just survive. What I just said. I know, but I'm doing it in a in a Joan right. way. And Joan, get the bagels. Okay, everybody in, in the way. cast was wonderful. Sarah Paulson was wonderful. This is a must see film. Take your kids to see it no, because this is what? not good. This is very violent. It's no, but like, it's also profound. Kids, you, you know, people cannot forget kids. what's happened and, in the world. Yeah, but a seven-year-old kid doesn't need to see this. No, but a seven-year-old kid could see uh, what? Are, what are those films? Transformers. That's what's so sick about our society, right? Yeah, but it's because <sighs> this is more real. That's correct. Okay. And, Parents, you be the judge, but I have to say this film was incredible. It opens in theaters Friday, October 18th, and I am giving 12 Years a Slave. Stop looking at the paper. Pay attention to your lovely wife. I am giving it <laughs> five bagels with lox, cream cheese, capers, the works. This is definitely an Oscar uh, film. And you, my I love. I agree with you. It's, it's going to be an Oscar film, and I give it five. 
Because it was so powerful. Be still my beating heart. I can't believe it. Do you know what? I mean, people are going to write in about this. Listen, we'd love to know, speaking of writing and what you think about this movie, please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. You can like us on our Two Choose on Film Facebook page. You're so cute. And you can listen to us at jcastnetwork.org. And now Joan is going to attempt to shut off the camera. This is just a one-time thing. Yeah.